end of the day, we are not as strong as we think we are. At the end of the day, what we know is smaller than what we don't know. What's the Lord seeking from you? Walk in mercy, love justice, and walk humbly before your God. Walk humbly before your God. To carry a posture where you have this desperate sense of need for God. So he, 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 he had been saying to his wife for a bit that he was just feeling this sense of hopelessness as if his life did not amount to anything, as if it didn't matter and hadn't done the will of God. He looks at himself and he just says, what have I even done with my life? How many of you have ever felt those sort of thoughts? And I really expect every hand up. But I know my sisters in the Lord, they've been born again from their mommy womb. They don't experience such. They are people that eat in the same place with Jesus. The church has done us a disservice. We've not been taught how to be vulnerable. We've not been taught how to be authentic. So brothers who are struggling with sexual issues and pornography will never find another brother to tell until they go down and there's an onslaught on their destiny. Then we will gather in corners and pretend like we want to pray. We have to pray for Brother Kingsley. Shegbon Koto Shele. Because no one told us to be vulnerable. A pastor came to church and said, last Sunday, my people, I said, we were going to read Luke chapter so and so. From verse so and so to verse so and so. How many of us read it? And people are just raising their hand. You know that holy face we have. <laughs> How many of us looked at it during the week? <laughs> said, God bless you. Luke chapter 12 does not have those verses. We are teaching today on lying. <laughs> today we'll be looking at lying. Lying as a believer. Why? Why do we raise our hands when we didn't read it? Why do we do it? Because it adds to the accolades. A little brownie point. You are not in church to get accolades. You are in church to be fixed. Because you need to be fixed. If you don't have people in your life that you can say, I need help, you are in trouble. So let us rebuild this house. Let us make it a house of passion, a house of prayer, a house of vulnerable people seeking help and miss themselves. That is church. That's the true ecclesia. And it's that understanding that make, made Elizabeth mommy geo, literally mommy geo of RCCG. And ha, I know you are older than that, but you look really young. Please rise. Mommy geo, mommy fulu. And her, she walks into a house and she says, Ado prost of rela kosh te karianda. Woman of God, the Lord says to me to tell you. And she kneels down and she says, Yes, Jesus, yes. Oh, that's accurate. That's the dealing I'm having with the Lord right now. I ain't going to imagine, have you? Because I can see the way you're looking at me. Is this DSTV or Super Story? Sit down. And you see, we are not even mommy Gio, but as you're seated here, you have social stratification in your mind. Right here, you're looking at yourself and say, we, we are deep. That's it. So even when she's holding your hands, let's hold her hands. Let's pray. And she says, the Lord said to me, your heart is like, hello. The Lord said to you, it couldn't be. It couldn't. That's who are you? When I'm here, if you don't fix the subtlety of pride. You know why you should pay attention to yourself? You won't even know that you're being captured by pride. It's so subtle. It's so subtle. Let me tell you how you know you are in humility. You are in humility if you are constantly doing things that are uncomfortable to you and make you feel like you're embarrassing yourself. Yes. The standard response of human nature is to elevate ourselves in our own eyes. So this is your knees. You will learn to bend it. You will bend it. You must bend it. And in your heart too, you will bend it. You will confess your sins to one another. And let me tell you how you know you are walking in consecration and humbly before God. You would have many repentant moments on a daily basis. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I'm sorry. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have thought that. I shouldn't have responded that way. If you're in that place, don't feel like God, God must be tired of me. He's not. You have a location daily. 70 times, seven times, daily for the Lord to get you covered and it keeps your heart tender. Does it mean you walk in sin that grace should abound? No. 
But you'll be in a place of vulnerability with the Father. Ah, oh, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father. Not our worry. I did. I don't see ho. I don't see baba. Even in worship, some people are so bloated. They're just like this. We lift up your name. Karabala baraba. Eyes open. Posture wrong. How did we get here? Because you taught us Sunday school. The thing you are not even living in your private life. But they're like, that's so deep, man. That's so deep. If anyone reaches me and says something is deep, I will slap them. Nothing is deep if I'm not leaving it out. So leave me as I am. God has my dossier. Let him fix me. Don't admire me. I'm not here to impress you. Don't follow me. Leave me. Let me make God proud. You are deep. I'm not deep. I don't want to be deep. Just leave me and my Jesus. So there will be giants in your life. May you see your giants in Jesus' name. May you never be overtaken by pride. Father, capture our hearts. Teach us your will. Humble us again. Help us to hear you. In the name of Jesus. Father, prepare us for what you have prepared for us. Father, lead us into places in you. Show us the paths of eternal life, O God. Baptize us in a knowing. Fill us with revelation knowledge. Teach us your truth, O God. Teach us your insights, O God. Teach us your ways, O God. Teach us your laws, O God. Cut our hearts, O God. Take out of us what cannot glorify you. Father, take out of us what cannot glorify you. Take out of us what cannot glorify you. Take out of us what cannot honor you. Take out of us what is of no kingdom value. Teach us to ride on the wings of the Spirit. Father, empower us to walk in your will, to walk in your purpose, to walk in your precepts. Ordain us as a people for your glory. Lord, raise for yourself sons and daughters who walk in dominion over sin, dominion over self, dominion over the works of the flesh. Father, let carnality not be named amongst us. Help us to mature in the things of God. Let a burning passion awaken within our spirits to pursue your agenda, to do your bidding. Capture us for your will. Ordain us for your will. Strengthen us for your purpose. Hey, I want you to dress up. Go to Ephesians 6. That's the only prayer and I'm out of here. Ephesians 6. Dress yourself up in the armory of the spirit today. Dress yourself up. That's your destiny. Let's begin to pray from verse 10. I declare I'm strong in the Lord. I declare I'm strong in the Lord. I'm strong in the power of His might. I pull on the, I put on the whole armor of God. I put on the whole armor of God. Therefore, I can withstand the wiles of the devil. In the name of Jesus, I daily withstand the wiles of the devil. For I know I do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, 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 I take unto myself the whole armor of God and I stand in the evil day. Having done all, I stand in the name of Jesus. My loin is guided with the truth of God. My loins are guarded with the truth of God. I have on me the breastplate of righteousness. My feet is shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In the name of Jesus, I take the shield of faith. I take the shield of faith. Therefore, I quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. I have on me the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. And I hold in my hands the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. From now, every day, 
I pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and I'm watching with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints all trance is giving me and I open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel I'm an ambassador of the Lord Jesus and I walk in abundance of supernatural life shout hallelujah oh glory 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 to God oh glory to God oh glory to God thank you Jesus God bless you